All right, let's play this in full as always. Just notice something goes back into drinking. Gets closer. Wait a minute. Gets up. Walks a bit. Then notices the photographer and then rah! All right. That's the shot. Now, um, it's pretty long. So my my main thing is that I think we can shorten and simplify certain things. There, there are two things I would do. Shorten and simplify and find reference. Uh, this seems heavily keyframed and there's some mechanical issues and just some uh, animation performance issues that I think we could rectify by finding reference just to kind of ground this a bit more in reality, just for posing and the timing. But right now I just want to focus on the general idea. So the idea here is just that a photographer is stalking a, a lion and finally gets caught by the lion. So that's not too bad. It's a good to notice here. See, to me, it would already be interesting if you had, that could potentially be like a tree in the foreground. That's my awesome tree. Got some leaves there tree stuff and you can even do you know bushes coming in from this side and you can you can make some bushy stuff there i'll kind of change it set a little bit so that um, there's a bit more uh there are more hiding opportunities for photographer and i will also level the horizon so it's not such a, a dutch angle unless you're saying that this is a hill that goes down but i think then i would just keep this horizontal and then maybe you know add extra set pieces to imply other hills in the back uh, then what I would do is when this happens, then the camera could lean back behind a tree so that the tree, you know, ends up being here and, and it does kind of like a simulated lean over to hide. And then we come back forward and then we can just maybe catch how it goes back down and it's drinking again. This is a bit fast, but it's not too bad. This time a translate makes sense since a person is holding a camera going forward. But I think at this point is when we go forward, definitely have the creature go up. But I would go from this straight into this. Because right now I'm, I'm looking at this, right? <clears throat> so we have, let's go all the way back here. We have this, observing that. Ooh, almost caught there. Goes back, all right. Now it goes forward, a bit more daring. <gasps> and then, uh-oh, but then... Okay, get slowly up. Huh, it's not that interested. And then, then fully looks at the guy with the camera. But then we look over to the left. It's kind of weird. And then this happens. And it, it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's almost like a human fake out. It's like, oh, I'm going to pretend that I didn't see you. But now I saw you. And then this happens. And what's going on here is that... Oh, you got to be careful, you got your camera mask. You must have your camera shake on there or handheld on a different uh, node than the mask there. But I would go again if you have the character comes back from behind the tree, takes a step forward, and you can have this is a combination. Basically, the idea is that the flake happens here, so that uh oh, stepped on the branch, and then you go straight to getting up into into that idea. If that makes sense. I will cut that whole thing in the middle out. It, just, it feels a bit too long. Uh, and since we've already established that the person is looking and sneaking, I think we told the story. And then you can go straight into the more interesting aspect of, ha, now I heard you. And then a run and attack. I think I would focus on that first, simplifying, shortening everything because it's already, uh, seems like, you know, 20 seconds long or something, pretty much. And... Then I would look at, okay, well, I got the beats of drinking, hearing something. Like, drinking is one piece of reference you can find. Then from drinking, getting up. It doesn't have to be super alert, but just kind of getting up. Then a more uh, vicious alert. I'm ready to a pounce type of thing. That would be more uh, a different section of reference that you can find. Then from a stand to run could be one and there, there are some clips from like a run to jump or attack or you know it doesn't have to be from a front view it's just, you can find different pieces different angles and then kind of see how the mechanics work on the timing which also feels a bit a bit slow especially through here uh there's some broken 
uh, elements in terms of like how far that shoulder goes out. All this feels uh, so a bit strange in terms of the enveloping and the posing. So I would look at uh, reference and do some really good research on on all the separate elements so you get the proper posing, the proper look, the proper timing to make this uh, work. Of course, you have to decide uh, if you're going to make this photo real or not. I'm assuming by seeing all this and all that in the texture, this might have more of a photo real look. But again, you can strip all this and make this potentially a bit more cartoony. So this is also something you need to consider it, uh, consider uh, as you move forward in your research and blocking of the timing and all that. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, let me know the email if you do have any questions about that. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.